I'm glad to see you safe after venturing into the crossroads. I do not have to tell you to be careful, my love, but... Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians, are they safe to explore? Um, no, probably not, but I'll be careful. Actually, she probably knows me better than that. I doubt it. Probably not. We know almost nothing about how their magic works. I think in this case, I would have preferred a polite fiction. You've accomplished so much in the calm of these past years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us. Again. I appreciate it. I don't like to worry you, but... Thank you, Josephine. You're most welcome. Tell me if there's anything I can do to help. I will do what I can here. Once the Canary are dealt with, brace yourself. The Council is just as relentless. I'll keep that in mind. I'd rather be, like, uh, super honest than uh, lie, even if it'll make you feel better. Sorry about that, Josephine. What the hell's going on here? What the shit? That is super weird. Why are you just standing around there? Is that like a uh, military um, conference or something going on there? Also, did I miss something up there? I'm pinging off something up here. What is that? Is it on the second level? It's down there! Aha! Uh -huh. We got a treasure thingy! I think we had one of those before, didn't we? Treasures! And the next one is at that thing. So two I can't scantily clad women on top of a wall. Is it up there somewhere? There it is! And the next one is up on that ledge. We got some cunning this time. So it's up here-ish. Here we go! Gotcha! Oh wait, is that a top hat? Acquired Schematic Encore. Alright. But enough of that. Let's head on through the main storyline. I think we've talked to everyone that can be talked to. And it appears this door is now open. What do you have here? Hard and high down. Yay. So we are not done with that. Good to know. Oh, another Illuvian. And it's open. Let's go. What's going on there? Who are these people? Are they Ben Hazraf? I brought them along a different team this time because of, for maximum, uh, like, lore reasons. It's the Canari, right? Rocks can't move themselves. Yo. Yeah. So we got, um, Vivienne for the, her mage insights. We got Iron Bull for its Ben Hazraf and Canari insights. And Sarah for commenting on the elves. Hopefully we won't get bum rushed by all the Kunari and whatever else we face but I think we're gonna do all right uh, have we been through this one oh yes we have it looked a bit different because of the different lighting and everything but that was the way to the um, elven sanctuary so let's head on through this one after the Kunari we're probably gonna get some more answers what's this what am I supposed to do with that? Put your hand on it. Does this work? No? Hmm. Alright. Let's see where they were going. Yeah. I think that's gonna be like an elven thing. So maybe Sarah can open that up later on. Discharge. So that's how the Kunari moves the paths. Oh. Rocks move. Switches are fine, whatever they look like. That's a cool little thing. Also, there appears to be a side passage, right? Or it's just an abyss. 
Is there gonna be secrets up here? I hope so. There's not been a lot of loot this uh, DLC, but I guess uh, that's why we got like all the craftables and everything back at the store. Where does this lead? So the main quest is over there. Let's check out this one. Where the heck am I? Oh, this is like the Ferelden throne from uh, Skyhold. Right, if we're killing demons, let's kill some Oh demons. shit, Revenants! I think we'll do all right, but let's make sure of it. By putting up a ice mine. Freeze him. Oh, oh, Iron Bull. Iron Bull went down in a hurry. Damn, these guys are really tough. Stay on me. Keep my barrier up, and we are gonna do fine. Jesus Christ, this guy has a lot of HP. Come on, get me my cooldowns, please. Vivian is about to die. And give me that. And use that and reappear inside it for some extra damage. Maybe I should use some different abilities. I probably can't swap in combat, I think I remember that. But maybe I should swap next time so I have more damaging abilities. Like I probably don't need uh, the uh, blink ability that much. I am stuck in a corner. But it, it's like the combat hasn't been balanced enough, so it's more like they're just what we you would call in other games bullet sponges. Oh, sorry about that. So they just have a lot more HP and do a, a bit more damage. So it just takes more time. Maybe I should. We may all edit these long fights out in the future. So we don't get stuck here forever. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Down you go. And down you go. It appears Magic is a lot better against these guys than the Spirit Blade. It's been a while since I fought these guys. That's why I'm such a scrub. What do you got for us? The Bind That Guides. Sure, I'll take it. Anything else? Fate Touch Silverite. A moldy journal. Saw eat cross from the Volca that which dragged souls down to eat larder in the brine dark. What the shit? An Illuvian Sworn. Whatever. I mean, this is a Ferelden throne, so it's probably not an elven throne room, I guess? So maybe more than the elves have used these um, paths in the past. And we'll head back to the main path now, and go through that Illuvian to find the Canari. Wait, is there something up here? There might just be... Another Illuvian? Let's check that one out as well. Intended to go, darling. But still, an amusing diversion. I hope so. There's gotta be something. And there's probably gonna be something popping up when I least expect it. Let's put that on mine in preparation. Watch out! Yep, a despair demon. One down. Okay, seriously, that took like five or ten minutes. That's longer than some dragon fights. What the hell? 
They touched Gernhide? I don't think I've seen Gernhide before. The Eye That Weeps. I'll take that. And some more loot. Good. Now we are ready to check out the main Illuvian. Alright, let's head in. Oh, we're in the no, deep roads. Be ready. That is quite a distance we've traveled. And we got some Kunari waiting for us. Let's hope Bull does better against Kunari than he did against those fade things. Also, let's wait for just a second for things to load in. Because Jesus Christ! Hello, everybody! So as I said before, the reason uh, the Kunori are probably after us now is because we were affiliated with Solus, and they are after Solus. That's probably why. But why? That is the question. What do they know about his plans? What do we know about his plans? Well, we know my theories about it, but I'd rather get some concrete evidence. I do hope I'm right. Why do we see mirror dumpers in the middle of dwarfy things? And why do we keep going through them? We need to find out what these Kunari were up to. So let's go see, shall we? Yup. This paper is covered in what appears to be mathematical calculations. An ex extremely precise and detailed sketch of the wall has been heavily annotated with measured angles, dimensions, and several lines of text in Kunlat. Whatever conclusions were drawn about the measurements are lost. The page has been ripped, seemingly by sharp teeth, and much of the remaining paper is sitting by a hardened layer of dried blood and dust from the cave-in. That's odd. Maybe they uh, ran into some deep stalkers or darkspawn or something? Possibly darkspawn. I do have a... Hey, look at all that. The Kunari have a huge operation here. Yeah, but for what? That is the question. I do have a minor theory brewing about uh, Dragon Age 4, in that, you remember how in Mass Effect, eventually it turned out that the Geth are actually, at least factions of the Geth are sentient and friendly-ish? I think that's going to be the case in the Darkspawn in Dragon Age 4 as well. Possibly, and hear me out here, possibly led by the Grey Warden Alana. Possibly. Because she's like trying to find the cure for... Yeah, I'm curious about that as well. I think that because she's off trying to find a cure for the calling, she might end up with some ability like Corypheus had. Which will let us her uh, sort of control Darkspawn and maybe even break their connection to the calling. Which is basically what the um, arch demon uses to control them. And maybe without that they aren't as dangerous. Because if you remember, when the dark arch demon is not around, mostly the dark spawn hangs out in the deep roads. Well, they are fighting dwarves and killing dwarves, but they aren't as ex aggressive. It takes the dark or an arch demon to get them to be super aggressive. And there are cases in um, the expansion for Dragon Age Origins, Awakening, where uh, Darkspawn become more sentient, more, most notably the Architect, which was the main antagonist in that. And he's still at large in my import. Who finds a place like this and digs in? What are they doing? How's it not stupid? At least they're not digging straight down. I hope. Should I go down here and check? Something? No. It is super dark down here, though. Luckily, I have my glowing hand of doom to guide me. Look, someone up ahead. I think he's human. What? Stay back. Oh, wait. Your hand. Are you the Inquisitor? 
Odd to find a human down in the deep roads at all, let alone one surrounded by Kunari. We don't have much time. Please, what the Vidasala is doing, you have to stop her. The what now? The Vidasala? That's a high-ranking Bin Hasrath. Specializes in magic. Finding, studying, stopping. Not anymore. I don't care whether you serve Fenharel or not. Someone has to stop her. You think I serve Fenharel? Why did the Kunari think that the Inquisition serves Fenharel? I don't know. The Vidasala said it, and the Kunari here accepted as fact. We've had agents of Fenharel causing trouble all over the crossroads. Sabotage, making spirits attack us. I assume the Inquisition was their army. That you came here because Fenharel told you to. Who are you? You're obviously part of the Ben Hatzraf. Who are you exactly? My name is Jeren. Sir Jeren, once. I was a Templar in Kirkwall. Until I joined the Kuhn. Your Kunari? Kirkwall was... Madness. Chaos. The Kunari were like the eye of a storm. I stand for order and discipline. Protecting the innocent from magic. But this plan... It's as mad as Meredith ever was. Explain not anymore. What do you mean? This Vidasala's not doing her job anymore? Almost a complete reversal, actually. This place is a Lyrium mining and processing center. The Canari need it for... Have you ever heard of Saravas? Yup, mage I slaves? Even as a Templar, I'd never seen anything like the power Saravas can unleash. And now Vidasala is giving them Lyrium. A lot of Lyrium. It's part of something she calls Dragon's Breath. That's a load of crap. There's no way the Vidasala would let any Sarabas within a thousand feet of Lyrium. There's more to it than that, but I couldn't find out what. The Canari don't like it when you ask too many questions. Hmm. What's your role in all this? What are you doing down here? The Canari wanted me to teach them everything I knew about Lyrium. Where it comes from, everything it can do, how we put it to use. I knew enough from my time in the Order. They figured out more. I'm not sure how. Maybe they got to the Carter. So they're working with the dwarves? The Kunari can't be mining their own Lyrium. It kills anyone who tries, other than dwarves. It killed the Kunari at first. But Kunari workers have a discipline only Tranquil can match. And they're quick learners. They figured it out. Um, that's troubling. Well, he did already tell us... Why are there elven mirrors in what the this room? was? This place is close to something like a Lyrium spring. The more we mine, the more there seems to be. As for the mirrors, I don't know. Maybe the elves were mining here too. What is a dragon's breath? That's not seriously the name of the plan, is it? Dragon's breath. You know that most dragon's breath destroys everything in its path, right? She said it would save the south. That can mean only one thing. An invasion. This mine is the only source of lyrium the Canari have. They're using Gatlock, the explosive powder in the round casks, to mine, so they don't have to touch raw lyrium. If you get the primers from Central Supply, you can prime the Gatlock and detonate it. The mines will go up in flames. Will that be enough? Even if I succeed, will that really stop the Vidasala? It would be a start. Deep Stalkers and Cavins will cut off reinforcements, but they'll still come when they hear trouble. You've got to find the Vidasala to end this war before it begins. Mm. Let him try to escape the mine. I think that's going to mean that he's going to be uh, caught on the way out. But I'm not going to execute him, what the hell? There's no telling how bad things will get when I destroy the mine. You'd better get moving. I will. Good luck, Inquisitor. Let's go. We have a Lyrian mine to ruin. I'm not sure I wanna... just blow things up before I get a um, clear look what it is. Let's drink all of these before we... get that! Wait, I didn't top off these? Oh, I g gotta craft those, yeah. Alright, let's go! Deep Stalkers! Come to me, my pretties! And kaboom! 
That is a lot of damage. Wait, what's this? Did I set something on fire? Is that gonna blow up or something? Or was that someone's ability? Why are dwarves so short but carve their tunnels so tall? That is a good point, actually. Probably because they used to serve uh, taller beings. Maybe titans or something? Or even Kunori. Maybe, 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 just brainstorming here. Or maybe they used to be taller and something happened that made them shorter. Ah, here we go, we can prime this. That doesn't sound good. We saw the Kunari make these things explode. Maybe we can use them to get out of here. Gallic. Run! Yeah, that'll definitely explode. Be careful. 